Welcome, welcome to Wednesday Night Live with Wanda and Katie. Waiting for people to pop in. Hello, hello, everybody. <clears throat> hello again. Hello, hello. So, I'm sorry, my desk is dirty. I usually change this paper before I go on, but I was like, I'm fixing to like do decoupage and paper towel painting and stuff, so I'm not going to mess with changing it. Okay, we have Wanda. Let's go get her. Add. Add. It says adding. There she is and her ceiling fan. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Bex, we restarted because it's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, I decided to start it, and we're going to see if my stream works better. Yeah. Yep, yep. So there's going to be this funky shadow on me tonight because I can't use my light when I don't start. I don't know why, but... Um, do you have comments? What was that? Do you have comments? I do. Sweet. Yes. Looking good. Yeah. Looking good. It's so weird. If I start, it doesn't work out for me for comments. Well, Bex, um, she was already having pixelating problems and she had no comments or anything. So we backed out and Katie took over. Yeah. yeah we might, if this works good, we might have to have Katie start because we'd rather have a good quality you know, stream than, than anything, right? <laughs> and, and it's in the event now, so hopefully everybody will find it now or not. But Ooh, if you prefer that's someone that's can keep an eye in the event or outside the event to make sure everybody gets back in. Um, I have a blemish rock because I figured what's the point if I'm going to be covering it in paper, right? <laughs> Right, exactly. I did the same thing. Uh -huh. Jody paints it up. Hello. <laughs> so I have a blemish stone as well. And I'm going to be doing many layers of decoupage. So uh, bear with me. <laughs> It'll go, it's going to be probably a slow go. So we're doing this in um, parts, you know, tonight will be part one. Um, it sounded like you said we're doing it in sharks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you know, it depends on what you have for supper. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I could not make up my mind, Katie, if I wanted to use this for a fabric. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's got a lot of different things on it. Or this one. Someone else is wanting to join our broadcast. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm all... <laughs> no, it's too hard with two of us already. I can't imagine trying to put a third stream in there. No. I Facebook would... Fall oh, apart. Material, but the other one looks good too so i guess it just depends on what color you're going for for the final okay okay i'm going to tear out a section of the these this writing um scrapbook paper and then i'll be putting that fabric um on top of I'm this so i'll be decoupaging so this so excited to see this you know i'm not good at the tearing part. I always feel like my tears look ridiculous, you know? Oh, well, it's not a different than mine. 
But I'm going to be yeah. putting it on in pieces, really, when I start. And when I started to sit down, I figured out I don't have a huge amount of matte medium, so I hope I have enough to get through this project. Uh-oh. Oh, need that hair. I have Halsey in my head so bad. This girl. <laughs> like I've been I've been playing a couple of her songs all day long trying to get it out of my head and it's just worse now. <laughs> Do you ever get that with music? Oh yeah. Oh Jeremy my gosh. Put that so stupid funny. you're beautiful song in my head this morning <laughs> and I've been having that in my head all day. <laughs> Oh, at least that's a good one. I mean, Halsey's good too, but it's she's obnoxious. Just love her. <laughs> she's just a little goddess, you know. <laughs> I wet my rock with a little bit of varnish. Not, I mean, matte medium. What am I saying? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot make these tears. <laughs> I told you, now Now I'm down to like, I'm going to have to start pasting things together. <clears throat> but the writing I kind of wanted in one fair swoop, but I don't want it on the whole entire rock, so. I have stuff falling everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm liking this. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's really hard to tear things. Okay, I think that's probably good. Or, okay, I'm just gonna not. Well, you just needed that in the middle, didn't you? Yeah. Isn't a tear a tear? Thanks, Beck. Yeah, you would think, but I kind of was trying to, I don't know, make it look. I, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> you know, a nice pretty tear. <laughs> Is there a thing? Oh, yeah. Hey, here's the dimensional paint swatched out, and I'm sorry it's not in the shop yet. The dimensional paint is ready to go. I just need to put it in there. The fairy tinsel is made. Um, however, I'm having to re redo the jar again. So it, while yesterday it worked, it's I'm having issues with it today. So but look how beautiful it is, the swatch. Man, gorgeous. I know, right? So... If you guys want to, I they're all packaged and ready to go, and they work 40% of the time, <laughs> so it's infuriating. It was working so good, and then now it's just not. So, but if you want to, I can, if, you don't, if you're tired of waiting on me, this thing pops off. I just put lotion on my hands. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? There. And you can add a few drops of water and stir, and it will come through a lot easier. And um, I can put these in at a discounted price if you guys want them now. If you don't, and you want to wait for me to address the bottle issue, then um, I'll put them in at a discount, and we can get the first batch out there, and then the second batch will be in a different <laughs> container. I'm thinking about doing just a twist top, you know, like a... Like these, like this, and then you guys can use a small 
bottle of your own or something if you want to use it that way. Because I'm having so much trouble with the tips on these things. But the recipe's good. I just can't figure it out with the bottle. That's what she was just talking about. What was it? Whether the it was going to be in the shop or not. Um, I'm hoping so. I was just asking questions. So if you guys are okay with that, let me know. And maybe I can do some, um, custom links or orders, or if it's an overall, yes, then I'll just put them in there. Sherry says she can't hear anything. Well, she, she can, needs to go back out and come back in. Allison, you, you guys can hear, right? Everybody else can hear. All right, I'm going to repeat it one more time about the fairy tinsel gels and the dimensional paint. Okay, here's the six colors of fairy tinsel gel. There will be more colors coming, but there's six made right now in jars ready to go. The problem is the jars are not working as great as they were the other day. So I don't know if, cause it's a second bag that I opened, but what it is is there, I'm having trouble getting the tinsel to come through the small spout right here. I don't know what's going on cause it comes through there just fine. And then all of a sudden it doesn't, but like I was showing these pop off when I don't have lotion on my hands. <laughs> These pop off really easily and um, you can stir it or thin it or squeeze it out of the jar that way. I have lotion. I'm sorry. I can't pull the top off. Um, and I don't have any nails right now. Let's see how many yeses we got. I got it. Oh, wait. These are yeses they can hear. So I don't know. Vicky, I think you're saying yes. <laughs> No, Dini, Dini, Dini. This is not dimensional paint. The tinsel, the tinsel. Okay, I shouldn't say it's not dimensional because it is when you pile it up. It will flatten out a bit. Okay. Now, it's also a, a paint. You can paint with it. So when you use it thick and, you know, with a brush, then it's not dimensional. The dimensional gel paint, um, it also has, you know, what would I say that? Like, uh, I wouldn't go very much bigger than this size of a bead if you want a dot with it because it will collapse. So those are the dimensionals and then this is using them as paint. I do have this video of me swatching these out. So anyways, um, <laughs> I know they're so beautiful and I feel terrible. So if you guys want them, let me know. Um, and then I will reduce the cost and it will be up to you to get them out of the jar. Like I said, this thing comes off here. This plug thing, it comes off. Do I think I got it? Yeah, there. See, it comes off. And then you can just squeeze it right out and use it from your tray or whatever. 40% um, of the time, it will come through this top. So chances are you will get it to come out of there. You just have to kind of massage it and work it a bit. So now I can put it in these, which it comes out of every time. But I'll have to give you, I'll have to do it like two bottles of it. Um, you know, for this is uh, 15 ml and this is 20. So, or 10, I'm sorry, this is 10, this is 10 ml and this is 15. So, <laughs> Lori says, I can get them out of the jar, no problem. <laughs> I know they're so pretty and I have so much made. I'm so sad. Those dang jars. So, Vicki and Lori want them. 
the dimensional paint will be in the shop as soon as tonight possibly it's made also i just wanted to find out what you guys thought about the jar situation and then i'll put put them in okay i love you guys thank you i know for somebody who buys from me who doesn't know me it's going to be like a horrible you know experience with it they're going to think oh my god what a crappy bottle you know that's what i don't want to happen i know you guys love me <laughs> thank you okay so i'm going to start to you know do some stick up i'm michelle, <laughs> michelle berlin my be my muse for tonight <laughs> your muse yeah she's the one that did that awesome collage mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. so i just got my rock wet and now i'm putting the quatex on the rock and that's liquitex matte medium and this is heavy scrapbook paper so i put quite a bit on there yeah, you don't want you don't want to go easy on the matte medium. You you need lots of matte medium or else you're going to have problems with stuff not sticking or coming up and getting wrinkly. You want lots of matte medium. Except for me, I'm running out because I didn't <laughs> think to pick that before. I decided do a big old mixed media project. <laughs> Look at that though, it looks so cool. Maria, we're using Liquitex matte medium. Hi Cody and Jan, Ellie. Yes, Jane, you can use Mod Podge, absolutely. For sure. You could use regular PVC glue, Elmer's or whatever, for decoupage, really. As long as you seal your work, you can use even regular acrylic paint if you wanted, you know. It's basically how you, acrylic paint base is PVC. It's basically a glue. I've just had better luck with matte medium, but that's my own personal preference, so. You know. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm just saying, if you don't have any of that on hand you yeah. can do your project with school glue you know yeah <laughs> I, I didn't i don't know which one do i want how's it feel sitting up there <laughs> palsy get out of my head Get out of the live. <laughs> so pixelated. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're on Facebook. I better shut up. Sorry. Sorry. Do we like this one? Or. Um. Bonita says the pink one or the blue one. Okay, I got that two pinks. That's just me. What'd you say? Blue. <laughs> but I already told Three you. Three pinks. Four pinks. You might be a lone blue girl. Yeah, y'all aren't my friend anymore. Five pinks. <laughs> But now here I'm trying to figure out which part of the pink do I want. I mean, they're all different parts. So see. Now, Thank you. Now, Love you too. I need to have a part that is, I think I'm going to have to do this part like right here. Because I need my dragonfly to be, you know what I mean? So I'm going to make, I'm going to make a drawing. Will it even show? No, of course it won't. All right, where's my black one?
I can never find anything when I'm looking for it. Okay, this is going to have to sit for a bit and dry. I'm just going to use a pencil. I'm putting my cut lines way out here because I want it to come around the side of the rock. And I want plenty of room. <laughs> I would do that, Lori, but I'm so bad at that. I make such a horrible mess, so I'm way better with smaller pieces. <laughs> so I've got to cut first and then glue. I, I wish I could do that. But trust me, that nightmare is, you guys would be laughing so, maybe you might like it. <laughs> you guys would be laughing so hard. <laughs> hey, Carol. I'm so glad you can make it in. Um, this is an old blouse I had. Both of these fabrics are. There were very. They were actually like this. What? What? I said they're very sheer. Oh yeah, very sheer. Yeah, they're like um. I don't want to say organza, but they're like that. Um. Maybe that is the right word. I think it's a rayon though, like a chiffon. Jennifer said, "Could be yes, chiffon's closer to probably what it is." Yeah, yeah, these were like um little jackets. You know, they didn't. Hmm. No, and then, uh, I <laughs> things going off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't understand it. Every time I go live. Almost cut here. It's the kind of fabric that you can't tear. <laughs> so it's the cutting kind. Put all this back in my bin. All the leftovers. I've used. I've used this fabric before on the decoupage on my B rocks. I don't know if any of you remember those tutorials from last year. The queen bees. Right now I'm putting little cuts so that I can wrap it around the rock and then it will lay nicely on the sides. Little snipping. <laughs> there so good damn it's been a long time since it's probably been about a year since we did a mixed media like this one huh oh it's been a long time yeah oh. all right i'm gonna get my rock wet and then add the liquitex i'm excited Yay. yours looks so good i love that the music and the words all mixed together it's like the best yeah i actually had the a plan for this so that's why i did it the way i did it why do you get it <laughs> It just helps me control it. <laughs> I'm just weird. I like I like to work with my surface saturated, you know. Things just move better on a wet surface. 
see how that just moves right around there it does not help with dry time though so that's why we're doing this in segments because this is going to be a very saturated rock because i'm also going to do a tissue print on top of this i know you guys are like oh my gosh she's like <laughs> serious tonight huh? yep. But look how cool this looks already. You can see the words through the fabric. Yeah, cool. Very cool. I was so excited about this. All right, I am going to get a paper towel and slop up some of the water. And then do another coat around the edges. Y'all, there's not really anything we can do about Wanda pixelating. I mean, am I, I do. Am I pixelating again? It just happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know, I did invite a whole bunch of people tonight. I'm wondering if I got in trouble again. Hi, Christy. Hi, Helen. I'm using a cool dryer, by the way. You don't want to use a hot dryer. Yay. Hey, thanks, bud. Can you put them right there? Austin brought me some chocolate. I got glue all over me. Will you put it up there? Thanks, baby. Okay. Right there. I have glue. Yay. I have like a second skin. <laughs> Thank you, hon. He brought the chocolate. I got one of each tonight. Or did you just want me to have one? You want one back? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sweet boy. I'm on the left. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm on the right. <laughs>
Ooh, maple glazed peanuts. Yum. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My husband would love that. He's a big peanut eater. Peanut butter, peanuts, roasted peanuts, honey roasted peanuts. You name it. Yum. I love it. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. That looks better than like even what I could have wished for. <laughs> I know. It's yours is gonna be so amazing. Oh, yours is too, girl. Don't even <laughs> they're gonna they're both gonna be the you know. Okay, yes, I'm definitely got a second skin going on here. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put gloves on. Silly me. I've been wearing them all day and then I don't put them on for this. <laughs> yeah. I always say I'm going to put on gloves to do it. <laughs> and then I don't. And then here I sit with a second skin. <laughs> I like your ruler, friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. I got it from this really awesome lady. <laughs> Aw. Cool. And this is about the perfect size for the wheel in my bike when mm -hmm. I get to that. Mm -hmm. Too bad it stinks so bad, though. Sounds like a rubber. Jane, that ruler's in the shop. <laughs> now I'm going to pull out some paint. You have to pull the stuff in the shop. You got to go. Take a little gander at it. Some really cool new tattoos and stuff that's going to be awesome for mixed media. Hmm. These are bigger than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Oh, well. Wow, that is big. Yikes. Mm hmm Oops. All right. I think Hector went to bed, too, so I'm just going to have to work with this. Let me see if I can turn my rock, and maybe... Well, I guess we'll just do it and then I'll redo, readjust the chains around the bottom. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off the chain bits and then I will put those back in myself. See? It is called compromise. And that's what's cool about tissue prints. It usually disappears most of it when you get it. The gluey wet. <clears throat> but I'm going to be using actual chain and we're going to make a you know I don't even think I need these flowers on here because I'm going to be putting those back on too so I'm just going to cut around those too. <laughs> And then I'll fussy cut. It, it got, it was printed on a printer. Yeah, the tissue. I print them out. You can order these two from the store. It's, um, I have them put in there. 
I'll print them for you. I should say my husband will print them for you because he's so nice. He's a printer man. Yep. It's his job. <laughs> Vicky and Jane Cat can, if you guys want to, I should say, if you like them, <laughs> they have ordered them before. I, I think they're pretty dang amazing to work with. It's like, um, you know, kind of like a tattoo, but decoupage. Bonita, it was so nice visiting with you today in the room. And, and we had Ann Thompson in there. I didn't do that right. See, this one fits on the rock. Why is it? They're the same size. See, and this one fits on this rock perfectly. That is so weird. Huh. Strange, I say. I. <laughs> well, I just popped on today because I was doing um, my Martin Luther King rocks. And uh, so I just went in the room. When I'm just doing like quote rocks and stuff like that, I just go in the room and chat with y'all or whoever pops in usually miss allison pops in but she was not <laughs> today oh that's okay jennifer um it's it's gonna be a all the time thing um, not all the time thing, but, you know, I'm going to be doing it a lot, especially this week, because um, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of kindness rocks done. Um, so, yeah. I Sorry I didn't pop in and stay. I just, I was trying to get a hold of Katie. So I'm like, I'm going to go in there. and <laughs> No, it's... It's fine. Uh, I knew you were busy. I was just working on my rocks and just playing. But, like, you know, I didn't have a whole lot that I prepped that I had to, but I can't talk. I, I got to, yeah. You didn't have a whole lot you had to do. Yeah. I really didn't feel like I had a whole lot to do, and I wanted to work on my mlk rocks so look at how cool this turned out oh my gosh like even if you just left it like that you know Heck seriously yeah. <laughs> i mean you don't even need to paint that it's like oh so good are you excited friend oh my gosh oh, yes i'm excited oh yes i gotta do another coat of um liquitex on around the edges of my rock. It's so awesome to have this idea and it 
actually work. <laughs> so we had a request for some balloons with um, mountains in the background. Yes. So I'm thinking we're going to try to fit that in soon. I was going to say next week, but we're still going to be working on these. So I might be able to do one on Monday on my channel, but I want to kind of stick to the theme of what we're doing. You know, we're going to pick something and then do it both days, like Monday on YouTube and then yeah, when Wednesday on Facebook. Not the same identical project, but the same theme. You know, so yes. I don't know why this doesn't want to stick this time. What's going down here? I might have to go get the paste because this fabric is a little bit thicker, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Lord knows I have a gallon of it, so. <laughs> Okay, not quite a gallon. It's, I don't know, how much is that? Eight ounces? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's like a dream. You know what? I think I did use this last time. Huh. It's all coming back to me now. I did. I remember now. So we finished watching Wednesday. Oh my gosh, right? And I was wrong. I was just sure I knew who it was, but I was wrong. Jeremy was right. <laughs> Jeremy tried to make me feel better saying, well, I wasn't absolutely sure. Aw. <laughs> but... uh. It was a hard one. I, you know, the who done it was kind of uh, challenging. Yeah, but gosh, we laughed so many times during that show. This oh yeah, funny. Tell me that she did not tackle that character. I mean, I know. I was like, oh my gosh. I don't think. I think that might be the best Wednesday I've ever seen. <laughs> I was watching, um, after I watched that, I had to go back and watch The Addams Family, all of them. And Christina Ricci, I mean, she's she's an amazing Wednesday, too. And this girl looks like her and like Catherine Zeta-Jones. <laughs> yeah. She could be either one of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy was able to, he, he recognized the voices and he was like, is that so and so talking? And I was like, "Yep," <laughs> like the dad. Yeah. And then uh, the guy um, that played Uncle Fester, he recognized yeah. him from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> oh, um, oh! I'm thinking about the original. Uncle Fester was that. Um, what's his name? Um, the guy from Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah. Lloyd, or what's his name? Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, I know. I went and looked at there was going to be a season two it, the second I finished watching it. <laughs> yeah. I'm that way. I'm like, if there's not going to be a season two, I'm going to throw a fit right now. <laughs> I didn't look, but I'm glad that y'all have to. <laughs> Ooh, I might have to do some scrubbing on my mat. Ooh, what a mess. All right, I'm going to get my blow dryer out, too. 
You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to let this thing. I'm going to. No, I can't move it. I just need a new place on my mat. I'm going to move it to a different spot. Yeah, I got to grab a paper towel. I need to clean and dry the mat so that we can do the next piece of the project. The fun wings. Yeah. We're going to use some builder gel, some um, chrome powder, some acetate which I've already printed on, but if you guys are interested in learning how to do that, you'll have to go back, and I didn't get the link. Oh, I'm so terrible. Lori. <laughs> okay, Miss Lori Derda. On YouTube, <laughs> last year, might be more than a year ago, maybe two years ago now, I was doing some 3D dragonflies with acetate wings and I believe it was there were like two or three of them in a row where the wings came up off the rock so we're going to be doing that on this rock mm -hmm. so I know right oh I love the blue oh my gosh that's gorgeous Wow. Okay, so these wings I purchased and the links to these places are in those tutorials. I don't even remember the name right now at the top, but these wings kind of fit. These here, we measured them out. So we're going to do these all singly, and then these up here are going to be the dangle. Yeah, we'll make it a dangle. <laughs> it's funny because that's actually a cicada wing, which I do have those too. They're just a bit bigger. I could do the rainbow. Oh, I could do this one. I'm like this. So this is acetate, this plasticky stuff. And this was printed from my printer, my regular inkjet printer. You can buy the acetate right on Amazon in a pack. And then print. You have to go buy the file, this file, to print these wings. And then um, you can put, it's not expensive, it's a few bucks for the for the wings file. And then the acetate sheets are just a few bucks also, or I think they might be more like 15 or something, but you get a pack of them. So I just wanted to see which ones we're working on. I think I'm going to do them all. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, it's printed on this side, so I'm going to actually do the builder gel on this side. I've done this before with UV resin. I'm going to try it with builder gel because in my brain it says it should be a go, <laughs> you know? Since they're all resin, I just don't know if it will work because builder gel has that sticky layer on it you know what i mean can you put those in the shop what 
I don't know if she's asking for the wings in the shop or for that stuff. Um, I cannot put the wings in the shop. I'm sorry. They're not mine. It's um, from the Bohemian... Uh, what's the wing? The shop is the... Oh, my gosh. Something... The braided Bohemian or something like that. Oh, the beaded. The beaded Bohemian shop. No, I can't put the wings in there. I'm, I apologize. I don't own that. It's copyrighted. Yeah, I bought this image, I don't know, over a year and a half ago, the file. Besides, when you have the file, you can make them perfect like this. If I was to copy it for you, it wouldn't look like that. It would look like these, which don't, it doesn't copy well, you know what I mean? Some things are worth buying that file for and when you're looking at like delicate wings and things with lots of really microscopic detail I would go that route but thank you so much for asking and wanting to support my shop I love that thank you okay so here's how this is going to go down I'll try to move the the ring light so we can see what I'm doing. Um, sorry guys, I gotta be able to see too, but I'm trying to move it to where the light's not right on the acetate. <laughs> okay, well that didn't work. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the builder gel and I'm just going to try this on one wing at a time. Ooh, this is getting hard fast. I'm going to have to, because the lights will cure um, your resin products too. So I got to get that covered back up quickly. So I'm going to take it and apply it on top of the wing area. And my builder gel is a hard gel, so it's thick on purpose. It gives you more time to work with it, and you can mold it. This is in the shop, the builder gel. And I do sell lights, too, the flashlights. Builder gel is sort of a funny thing. You can flash cure it with the light, but you need to finish curing it in the lamp. Does that make sense? You can flash cure it so that it will not move, but to make it hard, you need to cure it like in a, a lamp with a higher wattage. All right, that's one wing. And I'm going to, oops, flash it here. for my little cord thingy for my lights. <clears throat> I have so many cords around here. Got it. 
Oh, I definitely do. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cook that for two minutes, 160 or 120 seconds. <clears throat> Exactly, Deborah. The file has all the veining. I'm reading back in the comments. Sorry. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> Boy, Chris, I need to. I need to label my life. <laughs> I need to walk around with a label gun. I'm I'm a mess. So we're going to be using the builder gel and then top coat on top of it to get rid of that slimy layer that it has the inhibition layer because I don't want to use alcohol. I don't I don't know what it'll do to the acetate. But then we're going to use these are also in the shop. These are our new chrome powders, and we have these four in holographic. So there it's gold, silver, a pink, and a green, and they're gorgeous hollow. We also have, um, for the 4th of July coming up, we have the Patriotic Four Quads. Chrome. These are pressed pigments, so they're easier to deal with. And then I also have the Aurora in the four pack. And then I call them the Macaroon in the six pack. And these are basically like these six are the same pigments as um, the base pigment for the, um, mom, what am I trying to say? Katie, what's that? Sherbert Kisses. Thank you. Sherbert Kisses. <laughs> That's these. And then, um, I just didn't get the top. Huh? I didn't get the top and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Katie, thank you. <laughs> oh, and then these are high chrome also. There's a silver gold, not hollow. And then this really pretty red. Oh my gosh, this red is gorgeous. And a like a purple magenta color, dark blue, and a pink. And then this one has um, the chromes also. There's a rose gold, copper, silver, gold, and silver. I mean... Actually, I think that might be hollow. Yep, that's a hollow. And then that's like a Aurora blue. So there's lots of choices in there. They're not terribly expensive, and you can have all your chrome powders in one compact instead of having to, um, you know, get powder out and it drip everywhere. I don't know about you, but I don't like loose powder very much. <laughs> Um, All right, so that is cured. It's nice and hard with a sticky layer. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and grab that top coat. Were you saying something? I'm sorry. Um, I said, um, oh, but now I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so this is Delixir top coat. I have it in a different bottle because Delixir's bottle leaks. If you buy it in the huge refill, like I use it, if you buy it in their little bottles, they're fine. The little bottles don't leak, but this yeah, big bottle does. Do this. I'm sorry. There's two bags. Oh yeah, that's my, my bottle. It's and everybody's Jelixer bottle leaks. So it's the company knows about it. I don't know why they don't care and don't do nothing about it. But their product is good. It's like one of those things like, oh, God, okay. I will deal with it. Because they know that they got the goods. <laughs> Not fair. See, like me, my packaging, my the bottles for my my paint, I'm not happy with. So I'm like really perturbed. But I know you guys want the stuff in the bottle, so I'm willing to let the bottle go. But so I may know how they feel a little bit. You know what I mean? It's like there's no good alternative to that bottle that they're using. Okay.
because you have to have a solid dark bottle. It has to be completely black. Top coat you can cure with the white. All right. We're going to do the back side now. The reason we're doing both sides is because um, <clears throat> it's going to dangle this particular wing. The other wings we might, I don't know if I'm going to do both sides yet or not. Black is top coat, clear is builder gel. I'm saying it out loud so that I can maybe remember. <laughs> right? <laughs> Right. Right. <laughs> I wish I wasn't allergic to this. It makes me want to do my nails. This builder gel. Yeah. <laughs> Because all you got to do is clip on a form to the end of your finger and then paint this on the form and pull it off and you've got a nail. It's the coolest stuff. Oh, uh, Phyllis is having trouble tonight with the video. I'm sorry. Am I depixelated again? No. You're clear. Hmm. So sorry, Phyllis. It was, I was having a horrible time just trying to get started tonight. I kept getting get kicked off and then censored right out the gate. So I love that, the way the paint's coming out. Katie, it looks so good. And now you're putting more papers on? No, I'm doing foil. Right. At the oh. I can't see the comments are right on top of what you're doing. Oh, cool. I see it. Oh my gosh, how cool. Yes, girl, yes. <laughs> I think, come on, no, oh, thank God, my light, I thought my light was dead. <laughs> my rock is like way, way, way wet. <laughs> It'll definitely still probably be drying tomorrow. That's case, what we're doing doesn't, isn't on the rock. All right, top coop. 
You could probably do this with just top coat if you don't want to spring for the builder gel. Um, it won't be as thick of a, it won't be as jeweled looking, you know what I mean? But it'll still be pretty cool. I want some French vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Me too. Who is that? Je Jennifer? <laughs> Jody paints it up. Um, she's eating it up right now. <laughs> So I have a question for the people that have started doing foil, but they don't have like a massive collection yet. Not the people that have every single foil already. Is, uh, would y'all be interested in some little bags that have pieces parts like this in it? And it's just little tiny little pieces some of the pieces are um decent size and some of the pieces are just a little tiny piece this isn't a good example because this is my bat old personal bag that i throw stuff in but um i'm i was thinking for the people i have three or four bags put together that have little pieces parts in them and i thought if there's somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of foil just to try some stuff out. So send me a message if you're interested. I think that, that's a sweet offer. See the powder I just buffed on there? It's Aurora powder. So it's clear, but it has a blue cast. So pretty, like a dragonfly wing. All right, so now that we've got that side done, I'll go ahead and do this side. And then to seal that, you have to do another coat of top coat, but it can just be a very thin coat, you know? Well, I only had that one piece of foil, Bonita, so I was kind of trying to make it work. I think totally that's what mixed media is about, man. You get it going all different directions, you know? Yeah, I was just trying to make it work because I had that one little piece. And it wasn't exactly what I wanted to use, but I didn't have um, any zigzag foil, so... I thought that was pretty creative. You did good, girl. Thank you. <laughs> I might want to wear this <laughs> as a pendant here. It's looking very pretty. It's okay that I'm dropping it on the acetate because we're going to be cutting this out. So, and then I'll have to seal the edges again. I know you're like, what? <laughs> so much cutting or so much stuff. Oh man, see the bubbles there? If you get it too thick, it'll bubble out like that. So, and unfortunately, those are on there. 
that's the top coat bubbling through. I had too much on there. Oh well, it'll look like dew drops on the wings, right? <laughs> Uh, yes, Marge, you can definitely make hair barrettes. It's better to use resin for that, but definitely. This is to Builder Gel and UV nail products. They're all resin based. So they're technically resin too, but they're faster activating resin. Hi, Deb Cowan. Wanda, did you put two coats of top coat on? I did. I put one, and then I did chrome powder, and then I did a second top coat to seal it. But first I did the builder gel, so. And then now I'm going to go around the edges and seal it because I'm cutting and there's a piece of acetate in between, so it technically could pop off there. I gotta get my little scissors. Hang on. So, so I gotta do a little shout out for Christy. She made me the most awesome pin. It's kind of hard to see the R, but it says rocking.kk, which is my tag for my kindness Ooh, rock. That is gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? Yes. I love it. Thanks again, Chris. I have one of mine too. I don't know where my Wanda one is that she said. Oh no, it says the foiling queen. Where is that one? It's around here. But she made this one too. All right. So this piece I left on here. <laughs> I don't have my Dremel, but I'll probably just glue it. Um, I need a hole in there. So that we can dangle it so it can hang off of the rock. And you're the one that made the cool rhinestone pins, weren't you? Um, I was it? That might have been Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer. I said Jen. I'm sorry. Oh, I Jen. I'm sorry. I thought <laughs> you said Chris. No, Chris. <laughs> yeah, Jen made this one. So, so pretty. Yeah. My Wanda pin's on my rolly card, I think. <laughs> or my foiling rock lady. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I messed up there. Okay, these ones... I'm going to cut this one off here and save that in case I need it. These, I kind of wanted to do that bent wing off the rock look. Let me go this way, so. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut these ones first since I'm going to bend them. If you try to bend them after you put the um, what am I trying to say? If you try to cut them after that, sometimes the acetate on the bent ones, the acetate will detach. Oops, cut off the end of it.
And it's okay if I go over the edges here because I'm on a silicone mat, so I'm not worried about it. It'll pop right off the mat. Matter of fact, I was going to make these just straight on the mat, just with the builder dough. And I'll show you, I can show you how to do that too if you don't have the wings or the acetate. You can just style one on your mat and then buff it out with chrome powder. And if you don't have a mat, if you have a plastic surface, resin will pop off of it most of the time. <laughs> right, Katie? Yep. I'm drawing the cinder. Okay, I got a little wonky there. And I want to let a bit too far. Hey, Diana. Hello. Ambassador in the house. No. <laughs> Okay, so this one's bending on its own nicely. I'm going to, while it's hot and warm, it is sticky because it's builder gel. I want to bend it up with my fingers and then grab it with the light. I need something flat. Flat, flat, flat. And then cool it and it'll stay like that. Isn't that cool? You see that? So now we have a wing that will. Did I do that? Oh, please tell me I didn't do that. If, I'm going to have to get the alcohol to this one because it's uh, got this sticky layer on there. Um, more than paper. I think it's here. Woohoo! I think I bent my wing the wrong way. No, I didn't. I did good. I did good. I did good. Okay, so imagine wings are going to be like that, but it's going to be adhered down here. Or, you know what I mean? It'll be sitting down like that. So it'll be sitting up off the rock. Like the dragonfly sitting on top of the rock. Pretty fun, huh? Yeah, I'm not so good at freehand. I have to I have to kind of put this in using tools. All right, some top coat. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna have to take some of that off of there for sure. And with this top coat, I'm gonna do around the back side and the edges.
Nope. I got that angle way off. I'm carrying it over here, just pointing it away from my pen, my brush down there. That's okay, because that's going to be down on the rock there. Ooh, how pretty. It's going to be a low rider. And so now, what, what? I just said mine's going to be a low rider. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to have the song in my head. Sorry. Low rider. Oh, stop it. A little slower. Quit singing. <laughs> And then I'm going to top coat it again. So pretty. That chrome powder just is amazing when you put top coat on it. Can you see that? That's the magic of chrome powder. Now that I got part of the bicycle in, I can gauge where everything else is going to go. So now I can start with some of my textures and stencils and stuff. I'm just adding a little top coat right around the edges of my other wing to seal it shut so the acetate doesn't pop free because I cut it out after the fact. Sorry, I don't have anything cool going on like like you do. Yes, you do. You're doing like all the painting and stuff that I'm totally not doing. <laughs> and you're doing foil. That's totally fun. Cool. Now we have a jewel dragonfly wing. I don't know how to show you the details in it, though. Let me get a white piece of paper. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see the details in the wing. Looks like it has dew on it. See the raindrops <laughs> and the bubbles? That's cool. You're so awesome, and this one. Aw. And then this one will be lifting off of the rock like that. 
And that's one of four that will be down there. Let's see. Look, Katie is going to look so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I know. No. <laughs> you are like the epitome of mixed media no. queen. No. 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 Just weird shit media queen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> are y'all listening to her? <laughs> oh, sorry. I said the S word. My bad. PG-13. We're PG-13. <laughs> Builder Joe, you let me know when you need to go because I can finish these wings. I'm just uh, going to town over here. So after my rock, rock dries for next week, I'll be doing the painting and, you know, color, adding color into the tissue print. Did you sneeze? No, I was reading Deanie's comment. Oh. Did I have anything to do with splitting up orders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that was a crazy typo yesterday. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to grab a stencil. Me too, Deanie. I died as soon as I read it. I was like, oh my gosh, that might be my best, my best typo ever. <laughs> so guys, I was asking Deanie yesterday because we were having some issues packing her order in one package. And I was asking her if it was okay if I split up the orders, but I was telling her this long reason why, which is true, but it was, I was trying to explain it. And I'm very long-winded sometimes in text messaging. I write a book. So <laughs> anyways, I'm writing a book to Deanie. And instead of it saying, may I, so can I split up your order? It came through as, can I slut up your order? <laughs> I like to die right there. I'm like, well, I'm not going to be slutting up any orders, but hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so intimately Deanie was like hey you do what you gotta do <laughs> it was hilarious she played good sport <laughs> yeah thank you Deanie friend She couldn't, Wanda couldn't even talk. She was just like, <laughs> Katie! <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> One part of me was mortified, and then I'm like, well, it is Deanie, so maybe we're okay, you know? <laughs> Can you imagine if it would have been for, like, a customer? I didn't know, some guy, you know? <laughs> I would have been in so much trouble. <laughs> it was a blessing. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what she said yesterday. She's like, I fell off the couch laughing. <laughs> oh, too funny. So I'm bending the acetate this time instead of cutting it and then bending it. Because even though cutting it will probably pop it off there, right? I didn't like having to do that the other way, so... Okay, I'm just going to hold it while it cools. Oh, I don't, I didn't put these in there yet. I have these scissors too. They're going in the store soon. I, I haven't put them in yet. I was just using mine a while ago. I totally haven't gotten to my stock yet. I have a basket, two baskets of stock sitting out there waiting to be put in the store. We're working on it. Yeah. yeah. It takes a long time to put stock in. <laughs> I got... You ain't kidding. I got a full head-on experience with it the other day. <laughs> and just think, I was the only one doing it, except for Hector would do some tattoos every once in a while, but gosh, it's so much to keep up with for one person. We have 400 listings. I try to keep up with that. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty, so it'll sit up on the rock like that. Look how pretty. I gotta take the phone down for this one. That's what they're gonna look like when they're attached. Oh my goodness. That's so pretty. Um, I'm seeing a comment here, just a part of one. It says, what builder gel did I use? I don't know if the question's been answered, but it's in my store. It's a Wander Builder Gel. It's not my brand, but it's a no-name brand. And I carry it in my shop now. Um, it's not very, I think it's three something. I don't remember what I priced it at, but it's not crazy expensive. It's easy to try, and if you like builder gel, you know, you could buy a bigger one from Amazon, but these are, I don't use a lot of it, so this is like the perfect size. You know, it's bigger than the little tiny pots you get when you buy like a little set of something from Amazon, but yet yeah, it's um, small enough, you know, it's not too big, but it's not too small. That's what I'm saying. It's just a nice all around, it's a nice all around size. Oh, Phil is thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I my comments are way behind, and then I only get to see them for a second. So I try to run back up there, and I didn't. I'm I should have known that Miss Lori had answered it. Thank you, Lori. Thanks, Jen.
Can you guys see what I'm doing? I can't really see because I have to have my lights all weird and I don't have flash. I really can't see what you're doing because you're right where my claw is, but. <laughs> I know I can't see you either. I can't really see anything. So I'm just hoping it's I'm even in the shot. Is uh, that black you're using ink or paint? Oh, it's apple barrel paint. But I got it all over my rock and I'm having to fix it now. Uh oh. Well, it's, you know, so I, I think the stencil dabbed into this big pile of paint right here. Oh. And then all of a sudden I started having splotches on my rock and I was like, what? You're going to be finished with your rock. It's going to be so awesome. No, you'll still have lots to do next week. <laughs> yeah, I still have lots to do. Hi, Ann. Another group attendee. Yay. Today. I know I popped in with my face even today. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I forget it doesn't even give you it's there's no forgiveness there it doesn't give you a moment's notice you're just on and then you're like oh hi yes yep. those are my nose hairs So, just to uh, reiterate here, reiterate, reaffirm, re, reconvince myself. Did we decide we're putting the tinsel in the shop as is? Okay, Pam says good. Vicky says good. About what, what? Putting the tinsel paint in the shop as is. I just want to make sure before I do that. Because I'm having issues with the bottle. Yeah. But I don't know when the other bottle is going to be here. I think it said Friday, but you can't trust things. And just because it's going to be here Friday doesn't mean I can package it on Friday. Yeah. Sorry, I'm all. <laughs> I'm blowing on it, trying to cool it down so it'll stay shaped.
This one's way messy. <laughs> I have a lot of trimming to do on this guy. <clears throat> thank you guys so much okay i'll put it in there and then you guys just know that um i'm going to reduce the cost on it by a couple bucks so then um it was they were going to be five dollars a bottle i'll put them in at three dollars a bottle and then that ought to make up for the cost of a bottle <laughs> If you guys have to repackage it yourself um, but you can get it out of the bottle just pop the top off and then you can squeeze it right out and use it from a dish and if you want to use it like paint you want to thin it down and I'll show you guys that here in just a minute I was gonna give you a rundown of it when I'm done with this wing you can use it full you know full potency if you want to do like little dots and make like jewels and top dots and pretty things like that or you can put it in a palette dish you know a well and add water and then use it like paint which is pretty dang awesome too I'll show you my my tester dot station thing so you guys can see. I know Katie's rock is looking so cool. Dini says, Oh thank you. Katie, your rock is looking cool. <laughs> So I'm rubbing the chrome powder on now. And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit more top coat. And I think I'm going to set this one down here. <laughs> yep, I'm curing my hands. <laughs> so the glue is not sticky. I'm going to cure all this glue. This is how I clean up my mess. That way everything is safe for me to touch. Because trust me, I get it on me every time, just about. Yep. Even though you're so careful. I am so careful. I still scars and scars and more scars okay then I'm gonna peel it up real quick see how easy I gotta save that one because I gotta do that ring uh, wing those are done make sure your dells and your top coats and all that are closed and out of your way.
alcohol. You know, this new pink mat, Katie, is easier to clean. Is it? Do you know how the other ones are really hard to clean sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, this one's a lot easier. The stuff just comes right off of it. Cleans up nice and good. All right. Are we ready to play with the tinsel? Fairy tinsel gel. Fun stuff. Now, just know that the way it comes out of these jars is... Where's the other color? Okay. So we have these six colors. Yay. And then we also have the uh, bum, 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 dimensional paint and silver Yucatan. It's silver dollar Yucatan and jet black. And those will be in the store hopefully tonight if I'm feeling energetic when we get off here. Um, and then that's the swatch of these. If you didn't see these earlier, the dimensional paint, and then this is the swatch of the tinsel, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you again. It's so fun. I want to play with it. All right, let me get a paintbrush. Okay, so you can use it straight from the tube, or I like to use things, you know, non-traditional ways. I don't have a well around here, so I'm just going to pull one of my disposable palette papers. I'm just going to pull one of those over here and put it on there and then get it wet from here. Come out. See, this is the issue I'm having. They worked fine. The one, the bottles I filled yesterday, I tested them all day long throughout the day. My hands are still slick. Remind me not to wear lotion <laughs> to work. <laughs> no wearing lotion to work. Okay. So here's how you're going to get it out. You're just going to squeeze. A bit out you can also thin this with water in your tube if you need to if you want to make it come out of that tip you can thin it out with water in your tube just by dropping a few drops of water in there but I'm just going to thin it out with water right here on my paper you would do this in a dish or paper or whatnot and then you can use it like a paint now this is on white which isn't ideal for black holographic you know and I have no flash so I don't know if you guys can even see this because without my flash then yeah probably not <laughs> Am I depixelating or is it working? <laughs> You're not depixelating, but it is hard to see the. Mm. I wonder if I shine that on it. If it no, that just totally makes it disappear. I need a light <laughs> that I can shine on, like a, you know, like if I were to have my flashlight on. Or you can use these, if you can get them to come out, you can use them straight from the tube. There we go. I'm just going to draw a heart. Isn't that pretty? Or you can thin it out and use it for paint. This 
this is straight. I didn't put any water to this one. It's a lot like, and I don't want to compare myself to, you know, name brand stuff, but it's like glitterific in that it's a gel, but this is tinsel, holographic tinsel paint or, or glitter, that holographic tinsel glitter. Sparkles in. See that right there you go. Yeah. Is the tinsel water reactive or is it acrylic? Um, it is water reactive while you're working with it. Once it dries, um, it has to be sealed. Once it dries, it's not like you can re-wet it and make it work again, but it can be damaged by moisture. So you, you have to set it because it's a water-based product, but it doesn't dry uh, um, quite as um, safe as acrylic does that make sense so if you were to like drop a drip of water on it and walk away from it that spot would get a little gummy so you don't want that to happen once you put it where you want it you want to let it dry and then seal it if you can you know make I like to use this stuff like the last part of my artwork kind of like you would an embellishment that's how I would use it so see they come out sometimes and they come out perfectly but <laughs> then there's others that don't want to come out I think I'm kind of at a stopping point, just to let you know. Okay, okay I'll, I'll hurry up. It really is beautiful. I'm not really painting anything in particular, just long hearts. <laughs> long, droopy hearts. I know. They're like, no. like melting hearts. My heart is melting oh. for you. Some melting <laughs> hearts for Valentine's Day. <laughs> You know, I'm probably more worried about this bottle thing than I need to be, but I'm, I don't like doing half, for lack of a better word, I don't like doing things half-assed, so. Love, oh my God, I just, <laughs> now I just want to smear it all over my, my rock up there. <laughs> so pretty. And these are in a tinted gel I made. Um, I used some really cool pigment um, in the gel. So some of them have like a pearlescent gel base and some have a little bit of a shimmer. Some have just a tint. Oh, I think that's my favorite. I knew you were going to like that. And believe it or not, that base is a shimmery aqua color. You can't really see that though. There they are in all of their glory. So yes. The black is probably my least favorite, but it is gorgeous on black. Um, you just can't see it on other surfaces very well. Let me show you here. If I can get the dang thing to come out. Still looks like 
I think they can be, but I've, I'm going to have to play with them. What's so the question? The top dot. Can you use it as a top dot? You can, it, but it's right. not a tall, tall dot. It has to be, you know, I mean, they look, I'll show you. Can you see these, Phyllis, these dots? They, they pile, but they will go flat if you get them too big. But they do look really pretty as top dots. You know, top dots don't have to be tall. Do you mix them on the vibrator before you use you... Girl, you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Girl, we get down on the vibrator before I come to work. You know, I got to put all the bottles over there. I'm sorry, Ann. <laughs> I love you today. Just remember that. <laughs> Oh, she corrected. She well, said, she said the vortex mixer after that. <laughs> it's like, let me just be clear. <laughs> Do not show up to work with your handy tool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, the ding thing sounds like a jet engine, too. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a vortex mixer, you just... You're really missing out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the swatch. Look at that. So that's the... Just boring black on black is the best. Gorgeous. Look at that. So black is a must have if you're working on black don't you yeah. think yeah but it just doesn't it's just less than beautiful on anything else these all are equally beautiful on black too by the way i'm not going to go through them all because i know miss katie wants to go or needs to go probably let me show you here just a couple and then like there's the with a lot of water but they just really 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 show up on black i'm just going to scoop them off here put them on here i'm cheating <laughs> and then here's the gold on black And they are like fire. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I'm going to go put those in the store. And um, then you guys can yell at me about the bottles later. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, guys. This is part one. We're going to do part two next Wednesday. Um, next Monday, I'll probably do something completely different on my YouTube channel that doesn't have to do with this project since we're going to be doing probably two, one or two more parts, right, Katie? Yeah, yeah I think I can get the rest of mine in the second part. I, but I think I'm, I can too. If I finish my other wing, then I think, yeah, I could probably finish this up next week too. Okay. All right, y'all, we will see you soon. And um, don't forget, if you painted along tonight, you shouldn't have a finished product piece, but if you do, pop it in the comments of this video. Or this, not the video, oh my gosh. Don't do that. In the comments of Katie's event. Okay, so pop it in the comments of her event. That's the correct place to put it. Uh, you got any... Um, announcements. I think we're uh, good. Okay. I don't think I have any announcements. All right, then. All right. Katie's going to end, and we'll see you again soon. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.